simple tips for improving your local DIY skate spot. First, I'm going to pick up some of the essentials here at home, and then we're going to head over to the hardware store to pick up the supplies. going to my local hardware store and going into the concrete section and seeing what kind of trowels they have, seeing what they have in there, even though I have everything that I already need. I went over to the concrete section. They definitely don't have as many options as you normally do at a big corporate store, but I love supporting this place. I ended up grabbing the bucket, a concrete vinyl patcher, because we're going to be doing some patchwork today on this skate spot. But then I realized they actually had the bag and the bag of concrete vinyl patcher saves you a little bit more money in the long run and it goes a lot further. I want to do a lot of patchwork today and really fix up my local skate spot. Let's head over there now. Also, check this out, this mixing bucket that I grabbed to mix concrete in. The one thing that you definitely have to get once in a while when you're doing DIY skate spots because they don't last forever. But look at the images that it came with. Like these images are crazy. You would never use this to like take it on your road trip to store your stuff with or to plant flowers in. Like these are crazy to store your boots in. This is for mixing like concrete and drywall and that's pretty much it. All right, I just got to the slab spot. The spot we're gonna be talking about the five simple tips for DIY skate spots today. I really wanna fix up a couple of things at this spot. The reason I haven't really been doing DIY videos lately is because it's been so hot, like 90 plus degrees out in my area. So I've been leaving the zone and then building DIY spots when you have to travel. It's not something I'm too encouraged to do. But this slab spot has been here now for two years. They have destroyed some of the skate obstacles that have been here, but it's still here. The discouraging part is that it's so dirty. There's so much trash. It is inhabited with, uh, I don't know, druggies and things like that. But that is going to be my first tip I and mean, my first suggestion for DIY skate spots and how to improve them and how to keep them going is just talking to the locals regardless of the situation, whether or not you agree or disagree with what they're doing, but trying to build a relationship with the people that are around. So in this area in particular, like I said, I have been kind of discouraged, but if I find anybody here or talk to anybody here, I'm just gonna try to build a relationship as much as possible and try to just uh, be nice to them and accommodate them and realize that ultimately, especially if they're homeless, this is a space for them, probably the safest place for them. So we should try to be accommodating and basically build a relationship that is step one. Like, as you can see, this is just one pile of about 30 different piles that are around the slab as far as trash goes. So I built this little spine spot right here a couple months back and made a video on that. As you can see, the bottom is starting to chip away. We skated it way too soon, way too early. That's just what happens when you're too excited and you're skating. You just want to hit the spot super early. So we're going to fix up some of this, kind of do some patch job on the bottom and the top. And this is a common theme that happens at DIY skate spots. So these tips will help you to improve your local skate spot for sure. And I might patch some of the holes that are on the ground over here to try to get this area to be nice skatable so uh, we can do more videos here building more DIY obstacles. I appreciate the tape job that someone did here to fix that, but that's what we're really going to fix today. We're going to fix that. We're going to fix anything that is kind of just buffed out and kind of fallen off essentially on this obstacle. A lot of skaters tend to use Bondo when they want to fix cracks or things like we're going to be fixing up today. Concrete vinyl patcher is a lot stronger. There are other materials that are stronger. This is just what I know. So basically the first tip is gonna be clean everything off. I'm just gonna scrape the ground up a little bit, sweep it all off, blow it all off, and just get everything exposed. I wanna get rid of all the loose ends so that essentially we can cover everything up and make it nice and flush and buttery. After we patch this spot up, I definitely want to continue it on. I don't wanna make it longer, add another ledge. Who knows, there's endless possibilities with this DIY right now. Most people are down to get involved with DIY. It's just uh, intimidating to do at first. You don't go out and expect to land a skate trick first try. Probably shouldn't go out and expect to build a really good skate spot first try. I almost want to keep some of the rocks in here. I want some filler because otherwise it's going to be a lot of concrete vinyl patcher. Now that we got all the debris gone, kind of swept up, I'm going to use my angle grinder and chip up some of the ground and some of the actual ramp quarter pipe where the transition starts as well because essentially I want to get everything a nice rough surface to attach to because if I just lay concrete right onto that smooth ground chances are it's just going to chip up really soon like it did before so yeah chisel up the ground a little bit we can patch these cracks as always you definitely want to make sure you wear a mask when you're grinding or really working with any concrete 
That is just a simple thing. It's not a conspiracy theory or anything like that. It really is bad for your lungs. So wear a mask when dealing with concrete. All right, battery died on the grinder. Might just be doing one patch job for today. I'll show you how it looks right here. Basically making little tiger marks on the ground. You can kind of see that's gonna be grip for the concrete vinyl patcher, essentially. That's the goal. So I'll probably come back and do the other side. We'll get into the next steps of patching and then get into a couple more tips of how to just overall help out your local DIY skate spot. So now, again, I just wanna get all those loose ends. I'd rather get it all now than have to come back later. All right, so we got a good amount of the debris up and out of the way. So now we can start mixing our vinyl concrete patcher in with some water. And then basically, I'm just going to trot right over the edges that we marked up, get the seams nice and flush. So let's get mixing. Before we actually lay the concrete on there, I'm going to get my sponge wet, some water, and just get the ground wet. Make sure I'm picking up any, any extra debris so it's nice and clean. Add more water. Quick creep bonnie adhesive is next. This is going to help really hold it to the ground. All right, now becomes the fun part where we can start adding our concrete, start filling this seam. And I'm gonna be using my edger float because it's got a nice sharp edge where a float like this, pull float, it's got that round radius. I just really want really clean scrape, so let's get to it. Then I'm gonna kinda of come back like this. Don't worry about smoothing it on this side. Now, I can kind of take my sponge and hit any of those rough edges really lightly where I hit the trowel. You don't want to do the sponge too much because it does make it a little bit weaker. You don't want to separate everything. I'm just going to do it where I see that it matters. But other than that, I'm honestly just going to let it dry. The sun is on it, so I might spray it with a little bit of water occasionally just to avoid it from cracking because you don't want it to cure too fast because that's what a lot of times makes your spot crack. So while this side dries over here, I'm going to mix a little more vinyl concrete patcher and get the hole that's on this side even though I'm not going to the ground and then I'm probably going to get the lip just in a couple areas it's a since I'm not really going to go too hard on this I'm honestly just going to try to get in there and then just go all around it and just do a little bit of a thin layer around this whole circle I am going to put a little bit of our bonnie agent just kind of around this general area let it fall into the crack Not as hot, which I'm thankful for, but it is very sunny, so had to bust out the good old sunshade hat. The third tip is just sweeping up or cleaning up the area. Now, like I was saying, this area is super trashy, so first rule is take out whatever you bring in. So I got concrete with me bags. I'm gonna bring everything and everything that I brought in out. That's first rule. Now, if you wanna go above and beyond that, you can sweep up the area that's not even your trash or bring trash bags or a trash can if there's nowhere to put trash at the skate spot. And there's nowhere here Really, there's a bunch of trash bags around, but I'm thinking about bringing a big trash can next time I come when I fix the other side of our patch job. I probably will do that. So like just keeping the area clean and even if it's not the actual skate spot, not like a slab here, maybe it's one single spot, but just keeping that whole general area clean. If people see you doing that, just the general population, general public, that's going to be good. And it's just going to look good even if people aren't skating there. But I brought a blower, so I'm going to blow everything out that's over here before I leave and just make sure that I get it nice and good for skating, A, nice and clean for skating, but also so it just looks better. 
It could also be simple as just cleaning the area so it's not as messy like moving these big boulders. We're gonna use these later for filler for probably a quarter pipe or something on this spot later on another video. But yeah, just getting it so it looks a lot better. It's a, I don't know, a cleaner aesthetic, something to look at. It's not as much of an eyesore. For the fourth tip is just spot maintenance and doing some spot maintenance and helping out. That could be literally waxing up the spot, bringing clear enamel or clear lacquer and spraying or simply just doing some sort of spot maintenance. So you're improving the spot or keeping it so it doesn't get worse, like fixing the bottom of these seams, that's like spot maintenance. So it could be anything basically to keep the spot from getting worse or just keeping it alive. So spot maintenance is super crucial. Wax, all these different things will definitely help you keep the spot alive. Sometimes spot maintenance could even be like cleaning up tags that maybe are gonna blow the spot out, rubbing things out, that could be spot maintenance. So the fifth tip that I have for today is just trying to balance the blowout factor with also getting people involved. So today I posted it on my Instagram, at Dowdy. Hey, I'm going over to the slab if anybody wants to join me and clean up, I'll be there for a couple of hours. So those little things, you don't, you don't wanna post the location exactly of where the spot is, but maybe you just post like, hey, I'm gonna go work on this thing. And uh, if people hit you up, you can vet through that process, through the DMs or whatever that process might be for you. But maybe it's just going to the local skate shop and like hyping up a cleanup day at the local spot or just hype me up a build day. So it's like getting people involved and just simply letting people know what you're doing so that you know they can be a part of the process as well. I think also with any DIY spot, the more that other people are involved, other skaters or other people, you know, if they're not skaters and they just wanna like be a part of it, that's totally cool. And it's gonna help everyone come together because that's what like DIY spots are ultimately about is like the community, the energy, the aspect, the the whole you doing it yourself, but you're also doing it with other people kind of aspect. That's that's what it's really all about. And for a bonus tip, you gotta remember to just go for a DIY. There is, it's, it's like skateboarding, you know, you're not gonna land the trick first try, but as long as you actually try and make an attempt and go for it. I love the act of skating so much, but building skate spots and maintaining spots is a whole nother thing that I really do truly love and enjoy. All right. Might not be too hot to be building DIY spots, but it's definitely still hot out. With that said, I'm gonna head home. Got a dinner date with the wifey. Hope you guys enjoy this quick little DIY video. We're gonna be building more DIY spots at this location for sure. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Also hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. It helps me and this channel, help me grow. Appreciate all you beautiful subscribers and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Mash. I do have a little bit of extra concrete. Try to patch a hole somewhere. quick update it is the next day just got to the spot and someone took away the sign that I had here that said wait till Monday it is only Sunday and they already skated it you can tell and that's the hard thing with DIYs you got to balance that people are just so eager to skate it or they just do not care and just want to bust up the spot because now there's cracks so it's not going to hold up as strong as I originally wanted to I already know it's going to start cracking because that's what happened last time if you skate it too soon it's just uh yeah it's not gonna do good, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. That's just something you gotta do. It's rolling with the punches with DIY skate spots.